all right my people welcome back to the channel for today's topic we are looking at the advantage and disadvantages of religion in nigeria and the way it has helped or damaged the society at large let me just take let's take it back to the 90s and the earlier days when religion is not really a big thing when everybody has one or two gods whether they are papa family or whether they are family whether they worship those times in Igbo land yeah, every community gets one juju where they used to know them some communities are known for making rain some known for some are known for making peace some are known for if person do thief they won't find who thief and they get one special juju for that one and some are known for if person they do or they she all those uh, big medicine they they have it's just like departments everybody get within they specialize on nobody's jack of all trade that time everybody get different different thing where they used to know know them everybody's known for different things some people are known for healing some people are known for uh, healing the mad people the mentally unstable ones some are known for uh, heal, uh, giving uh, medicine for pe- uh, pregnant women or people that are sick they they, they 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 have different different sections if you meet somebody like somebody that is known for making rain and tell them that you are looking for uh, you are you want help for your wife then the person might recommend you say go to this man he will do it more than i can that is where uh, you see that native daughters are truthful and they will tell you ah mr man this is not my specialty i will recommend you go to this guy they know themselves and they know what they can do but as time goes on one religion and then they have the they are well known people know them and they respect each other according to their powers they know ah, this one's not me for this work this one can do this this one can do that then you know you see then uh, religion uh, this uh, traditional powers it's more fun and scary because there's a little or there's a, push, a good amount of truthfulness in it and when somebody will say ah this is this juju this is what it does this is how it does do it. everybody will respect it and everybody will know that this is how it works this it truly totally works but when religion came people started practicing white man's religion everything became good they started abolishing the gods and everything and the native doctor sees that uh, um, work load they come again that's when they start adopting more gods to themselves like for example if a native doctor is known for making rain and nobody is coming to him again to say, Oh, Gao, it's time for you to make rain. He will now go and meet the person that is making thunder and say, Teach me how to make thunder, and I will teach you how to make rain. They will now exchange their secrets, and he will take that one. He will now go to another person and say, Teach me how you will heal people, and I will teach you this. It's just like three by butter. They will teach themselves. Now, the person that is known for making rain now can also make thunder and can also heal. He will keep acquiring more and more gods to himself in order to gather more customer. That is where you have uh, somebody becomes the jack of all trade. But then they always have one man, one specialty. You are known for this and this alone. And this community is known for this. If you go there and if you steal, you will never go unpunished. If you go to this community, do not eat this. If you go to this community, do not touch this. If you go to the, if you go to this community, don't kill the, any snake. It happens. But as religious come, the whole thing was, well, I say, in a, in a, a bit messed up. Now, people use this for evil. People use it for good. Not all of them are bad just like uh, Christianity. Some people are very religious but physically wicked. 
also in itself most of the most religious people are wicked but uh, those days people use it for to do many many evil you know to test each other's power now uh, it, it, it's uh, people and uh, during those days people invited many gods far away to their home and they made dif- and they made different promises like say people go a person go go like Bini person from Anambra said to go, go go Bini and invite the god of the Bini to his compound and promise the god the Bini god that my generation will worship you and all those things the god will be there and it will require every generation to honor the promise of their forefathers and once the promise is not honored the god will start retaliating because the initial agreement was not met and when you invite the uh, pastors and the reverend father they will destroy it and take it away all those things keep happening let me just go to the christian uh, christianity part as a catholic that i am I have been, I have been in Catholic all my life, and uh, the way they go, as the life I'm shallow. But deflecting from the Catholic, I wouldn't say much about the Pentecostals or whatever they call themselves, because I don't even understand how the worshiping goes. But all I know is that the more Christianity become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger in Nigeria, the more things start getting more messed up everybody's now introduced a way of worshipping to some it's becoming more weird to some it's becoming more greedy some believe that the more you give you the more you the more you give the pastors the more you receive and the pastors want to acquire more the more the pastor acquires the more he believes I, I don't know he believes that the ministry is going but the whole thing seems like a competition like we are competing how many people do you are you do you employ this church employs 40,000 people ah the lord is good it is no longer about winning so it's about how many people how many members are engaged in the service or if you are a pastor and you can you don't even produce what you ought to produce you will be laid off and the way people worship now is becoming more obvious that something is wrong during the days of uh, the 90s the, the mood of dressing and the way people preach the preaching then is different from the preaching now everything has to be done according to what the bible said then i know that time for catholic we have this hair tie called the fatima style ladies must have to wear it because it is approved by the mother mary now i don't think it's uh it's must but then it's a big deal it's a big deal then it's a big deal for a lady to come to either broke rosary or church without your fatima style oh now all you need to, all they want to do is to gather more though, as long as our church is filled as long as the members are coming as long don't nobody cares about your makeup how you look are you dressed for church your life nobody che- nobody checks up or want to know what this sister is doing again all they need is are we big? How is the church getting bigger and bigger? That's all. And what is the pastor doing? How is the pastor making it better? That is why when uh, some of these pastors get into scandals, it becomes a, it, it becomes big because uh, people will now ask, what what is happening? Why is this pastor? Why is this pastor doing all this? Thing? Why? Oh, we thought he was holy. Although it becomes a big because we we now expect them to do more than they can do and they themselves go far to perform miracles just to show you that God is here with us do not move but 
that does not mean that that does not mean that they are perfect or they, they know what they they do or how they, they uh, uh, perform their godly things during those days uh, like I'm I'm from a traditional family like for my village we 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 are more deep in the traditional parts we know say we do mass cred, we do all these things but no it's, it's not as strong as it used to be like before you know before if you if you let see mass cred, it could be like say you don't see better spirit now it's more it's all for the gram you know carry that you know carry that grace again you know carry that ginger everything don't you everything is becoming more for the gram for jokes now so it be with church now so it be with self with, with, with church everybody wants to make sure that every service is filled with members and you gather the grace you die you have the best music you have the best sound and the pastor is, is with the best uh, swag anointing is uh, the anointing is flowing everything is going but after the church as long as you reach your house the same thing they happen again the bible said that god gave moses the ten commandments if we will be human beings they keep 50 percent of the ten commandments there won't be need for this die by fire prayer if we they keep 50 percent of the ten commandments I know, I know care if now from number one to number five or from number five to number ten. If we they keep 50% of it, there won't be need for the most prayer points we have said. But we don't keep those things. Everybody is is some everybody is a, is a suspect. When you listen to the way people pray in Nigeria, you will realize that everybody is angry and everybody is suspecting somebody. Somebody is the cause of your problem. Somebody is the cause of what is happening to you. Somebody is the cause of your not getting job. Somebody is the cause of your not married. Somebody is the cause of your not pregnant. Somebody has to be the cause of every problem you have. That is the most, that is the topic of most prayer points. Everybody is accusing somebody for something. But you that is accusing somebody, you refuse to ask sex or look at yourself and tell yourself, ah, let me cause this to know. But if you, most times, most people when they do all the Christianity still go back to their village and look at their life and say, ah, something is wrong somewhere. I have to do something about it. It's always them. The traditional ones will look at you and tell you, this is how it is. If you find the real ones, this is how it is. This is what has been happening. It's not about who get money pass. The real ones will tell you, Auntie, this is how it is. This is what happened. And it doesn't mean that those who, uh, traditional people are all going to hell. No. It's all about how you do your thing. Heaven is not, heaven no get religion. It's for all of us. Live your life the way God said, may you live your life. Live it just. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's it. You don't care if you be mountain on fire or deeper life or Catholic or whatever religion you practice. It doesn't matter. Thank you very much.